Volkswagen's EVs are a disaster. The German giant we all love is in big trouble after a massive lawsuit was filed against the company, potentially costing them millions of dollars. VW is in crisis mode after a brutal EV fire allegedly caused by their electric vehicle sank an entire ship. And not just this, but VW even became the most indebted company in the world with a debt of $92 billion. Volkswagen's CEO is firing workers, slashing EV prices, and trying every trick in the book to survive. But this giant company might now be on the brink of disaster. What caused this massive lawsuit against VW? Could Volkswagen really be closing its doors? How is the biggest car company losing so much money on EVs? It all started with the Felicity Ace, a car carrier ship. This vessel wasn't just any old boat cruising the Atlantic. It was loaded with around 4,000 vehicles, including some of Volkswagen Group's high-end EVs from companies like Porsche, Audi, VW, and even some luxury brands like Bentley and Lamborghini. The ship was sailing from Emden, Germany, to Davisville, Rhode Island, when something happened that shook the auto industry forever. A huge fire broke out, even though none of the cars were even touched. The captain, probably sweating bullets, ordered the 22 crew members to abandon ship. This wasn't a small barbecue either. It was a blaze that raged from one end of the 656-foot vessel to the other, despite efforts to tow it to safety. After two weeks adrift like a ghost ship, the Felicity Ace was lost to the sea. Now, here's where the plot gets thicker. The owners and the insurance company of the Felicity Ace didn't just sit back with their popcorn, nope. They pointed fingers right at the Volkswagen Group alleging responsibility to the auto giant for the fire because they claimed the fire started from a lithium-ion battery in one of the Porsche models on board. Imagine paying over $100,000 for an EV only to see it catch fire at sea without any reason. The magnitude of this disaster? We're talking about a possible $438 million worth of metal and tech lost to the waves, with Volkswagen's share of the grief estimated at a cool $155 million. But if you thought this was the only problem VW is facing, wait till I spill this tea. Volkswagen, in a surprising twist, announced they're stopping their electric vehicle production. The company recently announced cuts to production and shifts at its Emden plant in Germany, citing strong customer reluctance to buy their EVs. The news came as a shock, considering the company had previously been ambitious about its EV strategy, with the ID series at the front lines. But the numbers paint a different picture with Volkswagen falling short of its sales forecast by 30%. This is particularly striking in contrast to the success stories reported by other EV manufacturers like Tesla, BYD, and Rivian. Tesla alone reported a whopping 83% year-on-year increase in sales for Q2 2023, indicating a growing consumer appetite for electric vehicles. That said, Volkswagen's offerings are just not as good, if I'm being honest, when compared to brands like Tesla or BMW. Before I tell you the real reason why VW is losing so much money, let's look at the aftermath of all these EV fires. VW had to recall a lot of their EVs, ruining the experience for all their customers. They're recalling nearly 24,000 of their ID for EVs right here in the US. Why? Because the interior parts on their cars are quite prone to overheating and could cause the battery to overheat. Now, I gotta say, this isn't the first time around for Volkswagen's ID for being called back. Earlier this year, they had to recall nearly 21,000 of these EVs because they might lose power while driving. Talk about a painful ride for ID. Four owners. Ha! Huh? They've had issues with doors that could swing open unexpectedly while cruising at low speeds. I mean, just imagine that you're driving along, minding your own business, and whoosh, your door decides it's time to catch some air. Not exactly the feature you were looking for, right? And if all of this wasn't enough drama, let me throw in another twist. Earlier in the year, Volkswagen had to recall a whopping 35,000 ID. Fours because of a battery software glitch. Remember the days when German cars were known for their solid build quality? Yeah, that doesn't quite apply anymore. VW CEO Thomas Schaefer said, We're spending too much. This is a final wake-up call. The whole company is under a red alert. He predicted that the coming time is going to be very tough for the German carmaker. Volkswagen's production cutbacks also come with layoffs. The company announced that 300 out of 1,500 temporary workers at the Emden plant would no longer be employed, and its dedicated EV factory in Emden will shut down for six weeks. This has raised concerns about the future job security within the company and the broader EV industry.
There's one big threat out there that can not just end Volkswagen but even end Tesla's EV market dominance within a few years. BYD in China has been destroying the sales of companies like Volkswagen and Tesla. Last year, while VW sold about 12,000 EVs in China in a quarter, Tesla sold 28,000 EVs in one month alone and BYD, they sold 30,000 EVs in the same month. Now, Volkswagen has always been a bit of a favorite in China. Kind of like how everyone has that one friend who always gets invited to parties, but recently they're not even in the top 10 of BEV manufacturers there for the first half of the year. It seems like Chinese consumers who've got more money to spend these days are leaning towards other options like the Tesla Model Y or the BMW i3, if not cheaper options from BYD, to add a bit more salt to the wound. An analyst named Art Eleanor pointed out that Chinese EV buyers aren't really impressed by Volkswagen's tech and infotainment systems. And there's this rather awkward bit of info that only 434 units of their ID6 model were sold last month. Their interiors look outdated. Their infotainment screens look ancient. And customers are even saying they get better features in a car that's half the price. In Europe, which is their home market, Volkswagen's profits took a nosedive by 31% in the first quarter, going from 8. 3 billion euros in the previous year to just 5, 7 billion. Now here's something shady that you might not know about. China is not just beating Western companies in China, but also planning to enter the US market with an unfair advantage. You see, we get 80% of our battery minerals from China, and last month they imposed an export ban, denying help to the US. This means EVs are going to cost even more. And this is when BYD will enter our markets with the backing of the Chinese government itself. BYD plans to undercut all competition and gradually control our market. Volkswagen's CEO even spent about $700 million into a Chinese car startup called Xpeng. But even that company is in shambles right now, as the net worth of their CEO went from $12 billion to just $1, 4 billion in just a single year. VW was thinking that things will get better when they launched the ID7 EV, but to everyone's shock, only 300 people ordered this car within the first week turning it into a complete disaster. VW has failed to connect with the Chinese market even though it accounts for 40% of their global sales. Instead of going to them, people are buying cars like the BYD Seal, Zeker 007, and the DS7. And get this, even if they do manage to make a cheaper EV in the US, people still aren't going to buy them due to three big problems. So, in 2022, EVs in the US doubled their market share to a solid 8%. With over 900,000 of these electric beauties sold, thanks to some big moves like the Inflation Reduction Act and new emission standards. But here's the catch the early birds catching the EV worms are mostly guys with a good chunk of change living in their own homes where they could just plug in their rides without a fuss. That's cool and all. But what about everyone else? The goal is to make sure EV charging isn't a wild goose chase for anyone. To keep 33 million EVs humming, we need about 28 million charging spots. Right now, the US is sitting on just over 141,000 public ports and 19,000 private ones not tied to homes. We've got some serious ground to cover. The kicker is not everyone's on equal footing here. If you're from a community that's been on the short end of the stick historically or if you've got a disability, finding a charging spot can feel like an endless hunt for a unicorn. EV companies are in trouble for falsely advertising their range claims. The truth is that only the high-end EVs costing upwards of $70,000 can go beyond 200 miles in the real world. And in winters, their batteries drain 40% faster. Wow. Companies like Ford and Tesla have even had to pay fines to the government due to charges against them for misguiding buyers for their vehicle range. Range anxiety is the worst possible reason why people don't want to switch to EVs. Lastly, we have the problem of software issues. This is because while older cars relied on solid buttons and no touchscreens, EVs use a computer for literally every single thing.